Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 league uh, jersey review. Yeah, thanks to the World Cup, this has to happen now in the new year. But you know, since everything is restarting, it's sometimes even nice to look at the jerseys. And League R is a very interesting league, just on the supplier side. Uh, we have probably more German brands than we have actually in the Bundesliga. We have sadly only one French brand at the moment in League R and only two Nike teams, which I think makes it very, very interesting. Overall, we have quite a few uh, interesting shirts for sure. I always say that the French League is probably a very underappreciated in terms of shirts so i'm really really excited to bring those to you as always i'm grading the jerseys in this review on a scale from one to ten where one is the worst ten is the best and now the question of course is how do i choose the uh, teams that are in each of the four videos since we have 20 teams for the last time uh, for, as for now for liga well i take last in standings and then i go one two three four four three two one and so on and the number next to each team says in which video and which part of the review it will be and so in this video we have psg ol leon nantes we have um lorient and with clermont foot and because i then sort the teams alphabetically we actually go in the reverse order and we'll start with the smallest team uh, in this um, ranking, which is Clermont Foot, which are the only Ulsport team in Ligue 1. And I think one of the few Ulsport teams that we'll see in my jersey reviews this season. And yes, Clermont Foot, uh, typically small town team, a little bit over designed in a way. Uh, I like that we have like the dark red, we have uh, the. Um, navy collar and also the sleeve cuffs there's a little bit of a wavy i think it's probably the heels of the Auvergne. i'm presuming that here uh that's in there but i'm not so sure about all the specs uh in navy and then also in a very light red in there this is the part where i feel this is a little bit over designed um a little bit more together would work a bit better and then to add a little sprinkle on top of that we have a bunch of sponsors which is also also very typically for league uh, that we have a lot of sponsors uh they're all in white which per se is probably not the worst thing but they're all very very visible and even overpower the crest on there so um overall i'm rather sorry to say it while it's probably an okay jersey it's definitely not my favorite and i'm gonna give start off here with a four star we go over to the away jersey which um has basically the same effect here on the sleeve cuffs and i'm really thinking this is um the heels maybe even around clermont because there's a see a little spike with a church up there and as far as i know uh in clermont there is some uh, there is um, some statues and churches on hills around the town uh, very picturesque uh the color scheme is much more subdued we have the dark navy sleeves the collar and then we have a main body that goes from a slightly uh lighter dark blue shade to the, really the navy so it has a slight gradient in there um again i actually f i think this is not a bad overall combination um i just feel with the dark dark navy blue uh, this dark navy and the light uh, the, the lighter dark dark blue is a little bit too much contrast i, I think thought this could be even better if it was just one uh, single color but overall I like this one a whole lot better again we have the problem with all the sponsors which take it down a notch and so yes I'm gonna go with six stars here uh, and then the last one and yeah here you see it <laughs> we have on the third jersey which is in uh, gray we have a cityscape below and there it's pretty clear that you know there is this one hill with the antenna that's probably what was on the sleeve cuffs there there's also a monument with the horse which is also in the crest in there so uh there's a whole lot uh there um all monochromatic actually it makes the crest not disappear as it did in the previous two jerseys so i think that's not too bad but then you know uh, we have this nice cityscape on the bottom which is something that i really don't dislike especially for a third jersey we have some interesting patterning on the sleeves although it 
it's at least on the face of it not connected to what I see on the bottom. So maybe uh, going just with a regular sleeves would have worked better. Or, you know, either decide on the sleeve pattern or the one below. Again, over designed in a way. Uh, but then all the sponsors in black make it stick out a little bit too much. But I also have, have to say, this is not a bad jer uh, jersey. I like what, what they're doing. For me, it's just that the uh, gray is never one of my favorite colors. And therefore, I'm going to go five on this one. And we're moving up from this Massif Central to the Bretagne to FC Lorient, who are now with umbro and lorient is always kind of a color splash in league uh, because of the orange uh jersey with a little bit of black in there uh here we almost go for uh orange and black um uh checkered pattern like croatia however the checkers are a little bit smaller it's more like umbro diamonds going all over and that's maybe the one thing i do get what what they were doing is will be very much a, an orange jersey with some patterning in there uh, it just leaves me wanting. I honestly would not mind if those specs would be purely black, but then it might be too much. So I guess they did the right thing here. Uh, it is not my favorite Lorient jersey. Uh, I gotta say that clear, uh, clearly as, as well, but I, I think it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice idea, and I think I see this pattern also in the stands uh, of their stadium. But um, other than that, no, black collar, black sleeve, sleeve cuffs. Uh, the sponsors, although there are a multitude there, don't bother me as much as with Clermont because A, the main sponsor, Jean Vloche, is really, really, really nice. And the other two are a little bit more playful and actually uh, they, uh, they seem like they a little bit belong uh, there. I'm also, I'm gonna go six with this one. Um, I think that if the pattern was a little bit more exciting, I think I could have gone for more. Um, the away jersey is just in black, but you see here the wavy pattern there, which, which I think is pretty cool. Full color, color crest, but the sponsors stick out a little bit too, too much. But I think this is a much stronger jersey than a home jersey. So I'm uh, going eight here, uh, especially because of the, of the waves. Then we have one that was, I think on classic football shirts, shirts of the year list. Um, the third jersey, which is kind of this um, cream tone with all this kind of black and orange specks, which are um, a reference to the beach or the sands uh, of Lorient, which I gotta say is a, is a really, really nice touch. And also if you look closer, it's not necessarily black, it's kind of a light greenish color as well. Uh, the crest that has been decolorized is maybe the one thing uh, that I don't like, but I really like the way that the color is going. Uh, this is a make or break jersey. L'Oreal had had a few of those. Um, I have to say I had a much worse view of it, uh, of it after, uh, before I read that uh, Classic Football Shows show just is one of the jerseys of the year. Um, then I do now. I still, you know, my first hunch was, yeah, okay, I see. But um, yeah, I really needed the information that this is from uh, the beach. I would also go eight with it because there's a certain class uh, going with it. We have a fourth jersey also for Lorient. Uh, which has been re has released over the winter break, which is based on the tattoos uh, of the fans, like we had already for Werder Bremen. Um, very similar, you know, it's a harbor town, so you gotta do some, so, so, something like that. The color is very similar to the third jersey that I had. I do like that the sponsor is in orange. So with a white jersey, we have the black tattoos, which totally makes sense. And then we have the orange sponsor even in the crest. I, I actually think there's something there that I really, really like. Is it overdone? Of course. And when you saw it in match, they had this huge, ugly uh, box to hold the numbers on, on the back. So it didn't work all out, out that well. But overall, there's a certain charm in it that this is a truly a fan's jersey. Um, not necessarily a jersey that I would want to get of Lorient, to be honest. But I can totally say if you're a fan of the club, that this is something that you, that you might very well like. I'm going to go seven for this one. And now we're going to the team that I am wearing, which is, of course, not who are still with Macron. Fortunately, they didn't repeat the, um, this version of the jersey. But I have to say, I do like what Macron did here. Um, we have a yellow jersey. That's what we expect. You know that I 
Well, I love this design. The f my first picture of Nantes was pl uh, them playing against Juventus in the um, European uh, in the Champions League semi-final in '96. So uh, they, had, they had the striped jersey, uh, the jersey, which I know now is not the classic look for Nantes, but this is basically what I think of when I think Nantes. In any case, so we have the yellow jersey, but I really like how they trim it with the white and the green. I think it looks really, really interesting. Yes, the new no, 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 is still you have, have 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 to get used to, and also the red sponsor is still a little bit of an eyesore to me. I'd rather have it in green, uh, if uh, to be very frank. But now we have seen red sponsors on not for so often uh, that it almost is second nature. It gives a certain African feel to it. But I have to say, it's a very useful, very nice overall jersey without being really, really exciting. Uh, but I like the cohesiveness of the whole piece. I'm gonna go with a seven star rating here. I have to say the um, away jersey is probably even a bit nicer, although it also is not, um, I, I wouldn't call it super exciting, but uh, you have just green and yellow and here the sponsor in yellow and it, it, it shows it, it, it looks a whole lot more uh, cohesive in, in a way. And then we have the paintbrush, which is maybe the one thing that's a little bit dis disappointed because Adidas and um, has kind of knocked this out uh, around 2020. But again, it's a nice jersey, nothing too exciting, but I would actually, actually give this also seven star. These are jerseys that I like for their simplicity and wouldn't mind having them the third jersey in black with yellow okay a uh, different sponsor also which i think is in in, in in interesting but it's almost a little bit too plain for me uh and you know also the black has kind of a, a slightly yellow shading which i guess is on purpose uh but also doesn't sit quite well with me i also find the color a teeny bit odd but i can see that this is working quite well as a third jersey for me um more black for black sake uh, than anything special in there. So I'm going to go with a five here, which leaves us with the two big teams in this group. And we start with Lyon again with Adidas. Um, and last season we had the classic Lyon look. Now the double strap moves in the center. And I got to say, together with the differently colored shoulder strap, this looks really, really, really nice. Only bone of contention, only big bone of contention is, of course, that the Emirates sponsor is broken and Emirates fly banner doesn't look right. Uh, two different fonts, looks like two sponsors there. If this could be done, the, the sponsor is outlined in white over a stripe that goes all the way through, I think this would be an absolutely gorgeous jersey. There's one other bone of contention for me, and that is the within the center band, there are some arrows which point downward. And I know Lyon have been going down big time, even this season. They don't seem to hit the heights that we were used for them. They're not uh, going for the Champions League most likely again. So in a way, the downward arrows make some sense. But why would you do this? Why would you do this to, to a club? Make upward, turn it around, make it upwards looking. It's much more powerful than this downward look in, in a way. Odd thing. I think leaving it plain was all nice. But other than that, I think it's a really, really ni 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 nice one. Really class uh, OL jersey. I'm going to go with eight stars here. OL has four jerseys. The away jersey in red with a kind of weird pattern. Yeah, we will see now a quack record if you did a little bit out there. Um, I do understand why you want to have a red jersey. But the pedal is so uh, Adidas is so template uh, Adidas that I'm not so sold on it overall. Uh, so for me, full color crest gives it some positive points, but I still would say this is uh, only a five star because it's just it goes a little bit too much. Um, then the third jersey, I think United had last season's a similar pattern, but with more color. Again, the downward points, I don't get it. Although the uh, if, if, if you look the major pattern. All downward arrows, and then inside is, is the other way. It just is so weird looking. I'm uh, all and maybe it tries to be something like the Holland 88 uh, Ipswich template jersey. Maybe the colorized crest, I it doesn't do it, for, it really doesn't do it for me. Uh, this is a jersey that's a head scratcher for, for me. I can see people going nuts about it. I'm not, 
To me, this is a wasted opportunity of a jersey, of a good jersey, jersey idea. I actually want to go as much as, um, yeah, three is probably rough. Let's go four here. I think of the alternates, the best one is the fourth jersey that has been released last last, last season, I think, already, or two or two to the end, the end of the last season. I actually really like the blue where the red is kind of shining through. It reminds me of the Iceland World Cup shirts in 2018. But doing it a little bit better and then adding in gold for good good measure where you see the crest is outlining gold so it all makes actually perfect sense it looks really cool and i have i have have, have been thinking uh, yeah this is a jersey i wouldn't mind having i really will, 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 wouldn't mind having this except there is one thing that adidas does probably better than any other company that is highlighting unnecessary panels and the red panels under the arm lava sweat stains there you go. That's the one thing that I will uh, keep it in all blue. And I think it looks all right. And we will we'll talk about probably a nine even here. With that, it takes it down a little bit. I still like this jersey a whole lot that I'm uh, very, very content with giving it eight stars. And so we are at the team that probably most of here watching uh, one of me to react to, which is of course PSG, the reigning champions, the superstars, everything. I am always pleased when PSG goes back to the Esther uh, template. Uh, however, this season the main theme is, yeah, let's reverse the colors, which admittedly is interesting. Uh, it is recognizably PSG, however, I am so conditioned that the red should, show, should, 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 should be a center, that the white should not make such a big uh, deal. I actually, when this jersey came came out, I initially thought, oh, this is a really nice, yes, it, the red could be wider, but I, I, I actually like it until you see it in match and the red kind of disappears and the white becomes prominent. That's the same look that I get from here. The color combination, of course, is pleasing. I also, it has, has to be said, it uses the weird uh, Nike tan template with the triangle here. You don't see it there that much, so it makes it all nice, but I also find here the little cut of not quite cutting it. Uh, pun intended and then for me the one thing that I really don't don't like is again the broken center stripe well, what's the worst I saw this once uh, sold at a local store here there was not even a sponsor on that it looks absolutely ridiculous um, I really do not like these broken patterns for a sponsor here it potentially looks just about all right because the sponsor is so uh, very much in white that it kind of seems to flow with the uh, all uh, sponsor, sponsor has the Qatar Airways. No, it does not cut it. It does not cut it. To me, interesting idea, great colors, but a little bit missing the mark all overall. I gotta say, uh, yes, it looks probably much better in play than it does overall. Um, but I'm gonna go still give it a six. I'm not very sold on this one. Uh, not my favorite PSG jersey by any stretch. Uh, same thing goes for the Jordan 3rd jersey. I mean, it's the similar pattern that we had in, I think, 1819 in the Championships League with the one single center stripe. Now we have it in gray and black. Yeah, I guess the fashionistas and whatever will go crazy about it. I do not like gray jerseys. The button is cool. The color is cool. The center stripe, not a fan of it. This is a jersey that utterly utterly leaves me wanting and uh, even cold to a certain degree therefore I'm only gonna give this a three star um, probably the best one is the third jersey which is basically a reversal of the home jersey however with a lighter blue and I really really liked that one still same problems we have the center band broken it doesn't look quite PSG because, you know, uh, if the colors were switched, the red is in the center, it looks, but I actually think this looks really, really nice that we give the blue a little bit more prom pr uh, prominence here. It also makes a very good complement to the home jersey. The monochromatic crest is maybe another thing that's not so to my liking, but overall, I think this is the best one of the bunch and I'm willing to give this a seven star rating. Again, it's not the best. I think it will sell like crazy, but not my overall favorite jersey. Although paired with the blue pants, I think it looks nice. And then we have a third jersey. Again, Jordan. 
Uh, and as far as I know, this has not been released yet, which basically are the city lights of Paris. Yes, I've seen them. I love them. When you're on the Eiffel Tower and you watch over the city of Paris, it's something really, really nice. The boulevards going. So I understand where this is coming from. I actually think it's not a bad uh, try. Again, monochromatic crystals, although it makes sense here the way they have done it. It does make sense. Um, I personally, and maybe I'm not look, looking at it right now, I personally would have liked to make here a city map of Paris where you center the crest on the Arc de Triomphe on the big round, round, roundabout. I think that would have been something that would have really, really sold, sold me. And then I would have wanted this jersey for sure. This way, nice try. I actually like it better than the home, home jersey, but it's not a PSG jersey. But then for a fourth jersey, you can do whatever you like. So I think I'm fine giving these seven stars here and we're through with part one. Which of the jerseys in here did you like? Where do you agree and where do you disagree with my ratings? Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.